Let's make more of this plant, but let's make sure you do it the right way so that you don't waste your time. Hey, Lee here, helping you become a better plant parent, and this is the Scandapsis pictus argyreus, also known as the satin pothos. This is the Scandapsis pictus argyreus, but you did hear me say it was also called the satin pothos. So here lies the problem. Could you propagate this plant, treat it like a pothos, and get the same results? If you watch my golden pothos propagation video, you'll know that with a pothos you only need a single leaf and one node. There are lots of videos on YouTube showing you how to propagate this plant that use that same method, but they rarely show the results of their propagation. There are also lots of videos saying that you need a two leaf cutting with one leaf left on and the second leaf cut off to avoid that leaf rotting. So let's see which method really works the best with this. So which one is it? Will both work? Let's find out. Similar to other pothos plants, this is an easy to care for vining plant that sends off small aerial roots for the vine to grab onto. Once it starts to climb, it'll produce larger roots. The thought process behind removing a lower leaf is to prevent the leaf from rotting. You could also propagate a golden pothos this way, but it isn't necessary for the plant. I will follow this plant propagation until it's fully rooted in soil and producing new growth. If this video was already helpful to you, give it a like and consider subscribing. Comment down below if you have any other Scandapsis pictus varieties. And like all my water propagations, I'll make sure to put this in a bright sunny spot getting indirect sunlight. It'll have some help from a nearby humidifier and I'll make sure to change my water as frequently as possible. Right now I'm using tap water that I've let sit out for a few days to help any harmful chemicals evaporate. Remember to stay tuned for the whole video to see the results of this experiment. With this one month update, you can see the two leaf cuttings has produced roots from multiple nodes. While the roots are small, they are thicker and generally look more healthy. The single leaf cuttings are producing roots except for one of the cuttings. One of the cuttings has a long root, but it's slowly turning black from the base of the stem. Comment down below if you've experienced this before. This update after 50 days, you can see that the double node cuttings have caught up to the length of the longest single node cutting and continue to produce roots from multiple locations along the stem. One single leaf cutting remains unrooted. I've potted these up with my personal mix of potting soil and amendments to add drainage. Potting soil and perlite is also a great option too. Have you been propagating your Scandapsis pictus like apothos? After seeing this experiment, will you change your strategy? Let me know. And a few weeks later, everything is officially rooted and producing new leaves. One thing that I did notice is that the single leaf cuttings did produce the leaves the slowest. So if you're hoping to propagate Escandapsis pictus argyreus, make sure that you're using the double leaf method. See you next time.